यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रेक्ट थी सीरीज एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट पैरेटो एनालिसिस and for that we are going to use windows function now let's jump on to the power bi and see what is this pareto analysis so in this analysis what happens is basically the sorting has to happen on a major so like if you can see on the first table we have a major net brand wise and this is how the major looks like and then i need to take a cumulative which is sorted on net not based on the sorting of brand then i need to take a percentage of total based on that and then i need to say how many brands will contribute to 80% 70% of things or 30% of the thing okay so now seven items contribute to 80% of the net almost 80% we means we say less than equal to uh, there could be another method to find out better things now if you see here the you know the net is going down and the percentage of total is keep on going up i can mark it as a percentage of total uh, percentage basically uh, major so that you know you can get it a percentage now it's right now in decimal so what you will ask why what there is a difference now these three what i have done is basically to calculate this is really important that we make sure that this even keep on happening when we filter so these four visuals are getting filtered right now these two are not filtered these two are not interacting right now these three visuals are interacting with this slicer so you can see when i am changing the things out here my number is changing so let's say if i include brand 11 my 80% contribution is changing now these are four item which contributing to 80% okay so in this manner what are those four item if you only want to see those four items these are those four items okay i don't even have a net here now you want to know the total of that so instead of you know count of brand you can take sum of net so you will be able to know what is the sum of those thing you want to see the cumulative total you can have a major for that also so how do we do that and how windows function is going to play a role now challenge with the windows function it it doesn't take a major in the argument if you try to do it so we will explore how can we do that and how can we overcome another challenge when we will be able to give a major then there will be another challenge how do we overcome that so let's learn all of that so let's start building a new page and we will again bring uh, bring in the pareto analysis so let's bring in brand with the brand let's bring in net and so now i would like to create a cumulative major first which can do the sum in the descending order of my net so let's bring in we thought that windows is going to do that work for us so let's call it cumulative sales or cumulative net by brand fine so calculate net comma windows function now i say windows and i say start from what what we do when we create a running total we start from absolute zero there in case of absolute actually there is only one because indexing in case of absolute start from one relative we do have a zero because we can go minus 1 minus 2 so zero is the current position so absolute zero is not there we can say absolute one or we can start with absolute zero and i'll tell you the difference when we do absolute one also so let me start with absolute zero to show you uh that it start from 1 now we say start from absolute 0 go till relative 0 that's how i create um uh the my running total and then now the challenge here is that i need something to have the table with major so i say summarize all selected item brand then i need to take item brand then i need a net major so i'll say i need a net and then comma and net major 
okay fine now what should what should i do next so i got the uh the table now next thing is order by now i say order by and i forcefully give net into it one this one now it will not take but i will forcefully keep it there and the moment i do that i got a major and let me bring in here it doesn't work and if you click in it say both add column and summarize these are our tools both add column and summarize are not supported so finally what happens here is basically when you start using absolute here it works now so it's work so now absolute zero now let's say absolute one to one what happens in that case also you are getting the same stuff isn't it so it's it actually one now when i say absolute one to two now it's summing up the t's two so i say oh i need descending not ascending okay but challenge here is then how do i create a running total how do i get this one two three four five six i need relative here for that i can't get relative so i thought why don't i change this number to be dynamic can i make this number dynamic and one thing which can help me to make this number dynamic is rank okay so why don't i create a brand rank again using the all select so i said okay fine you stay here let me create a rank for me. so what i decided here is rank brand net rank on brand net rank on brand so i say rank x all selected item brand what i think the next thing i need is a major which is basically net which we already using next one is empty next one is descending and dense okay so we don't want if there are two ranking one and one next to two come to now i said okay i have a rank also now can i still cheat with this function so i say okay let me try now can with this rank function will i be able to cheat with this so okay i say instead of two why don't you take a rank actually so what was that net rank brand and the moment i does that look at what is happening here oh i got a net i got a cumulative oh i got brand 13 which is getting added out of these two oh these three this is correct addition and look at the final number it is matching with my grand total that's fine and i'm using all selected and you remember on the other page it was uh, you know um, the majors uh, were you know uh, able to filter when i was using a slicer so they are responding to the slicer values so this seems correct now what i need is percentage of total one one thing is i can use it here but if you want to see here then actually i need to have a new major so in the new major i can have the cumulative net percentage and let me call it cumulative net percentage and that is equal to calculate cumulative net comma calculate net comma all selected and again i am using all selected because whenever the filtering happens i want it to still work we need a divide here we don't need calculate first function is divide divide a comma b that's what we need so calculate cumulative divide by net all selected that's what i need and let me bring in it here and if i want i can make it as a percentage column so you see the percentage so it contribute 13% it contribute 26% now come the next challenge how do we filter this now filtering is again going to be a little bit of challenge and let's face that again so what's the challenge we are going to face so how do we filter such things so first of all we need to take either help from values or summarize to filter this out because i need something below 80% and now this 80% can again you can go ahead and try out what if parameter if you want 
it to be a little bit more dynamic so okay i say now what i need here is basically i need 80 percent or pareto let's say now so pareto is completed if you ask me uh, my visual line visual which i was creating there so i can take this control c control v make it little bit smaller make this also little bit smaller make li this little bit longer also and make it as a line visual and y axis i need this and secondary y axis i need this and i don't find so you can see this brand value is getting going down and the cumulative is going up so kind of pareto analysis what we call now what's the next thing we were supposed to do is we need a filtering mechanism so i need a major which get filtered out with certain values so i say fine okay i need 80 percent 100 percent something i need so what i do here is basically is i say i need let's say 80 percent fine so you need 80 percent 75 percent all this you might be needing so now i say sum x and the common thing which i'm going to do is summarize then i say okay all selected then in the summarize what i'm going to use item or i can use sales item item brand then i need net so i'll need a major underscore net actually i don't need underscore net i need underscore cumulative so which i need actually cum net percentage okay and on top of that i need a filtering mechanism or if i don't want to have a filter i can say if my underscore q is less than 0.8 then give me net if i'm doing some x then i'm going to ask for net or blank something like that i want let's see does it work and it doesn't so so why it is not working let's look at it so let's get this major 80 percent major mm, okay search for it 80 okay so okay so what i'm going to do okay let's do all selected item brand that thing seems like the thing which is missing okay so the moment i do oh i'm getting the values which is contributing to 80 percent but i'm not getting for if them for each of them i am getting them for individual so uh, somewhere i need values to make sure that you know it only have those many values so i need to force values item brand so for that you know there is an easier method what i can do i can see keep filters here and when i use once i use the keep filters here on this one what would happen here is basically it will only give me those values which contribute to 80 percent now i have another one which is now what is happening this 80 percent is uh, the net total which is one of the thing which i need but i also need the counts of i have a very similar major which i have used there so here you can see in this one is basically this is 80 percent count so now we got 80 percent net what is my 80 percent net and my, I got my 80% count. 7 is the one which is my 80% count. So this is the number if you remember. Cumulative is totaling this one. So uh, so we, we don't have a cumulative number. We need to actually bring in the cumulative number. I removed it by mistake. Okay. So, so this is the number which is coming as total. So now let's uh add the filter of the brand and see is it continuous to behave the same manner or not so let's bring in the item brand here and put a slicer and now i need a select all so i go to the property slicer setting selection show all now this type of list has actually moved from december onwards here 
prior to December means till November 2022 release. Uh, this option was here in the arrow means kind of like vertical list or you want a drop down list and previously it was known uh, previously this uh, tile was known as uh, orientation horizontal. So these are some of the changes. Now let's select all and what we can do is we can remove brand 8 still 7 brand 11 6 now only 6 are contributing. We keep on removing the top brands let's say remove 13 also. See, six are contributing 80 percent this number is con continuously you know the 80 percent number is continuously changing and we are getting this numbers and this 100 percent and you can see this 100 percent is getting contributed because of that now this is 80 percent now but this 80 percent is not dynamic maybe i want this 80 percent to be dynamic like let's say 70 percent 50 percent 60 percent one thing is I can have major like you want 25% have the 0.25% filter you want 45% you have the 45% filter or maybe you would like to think about bucketing based on this cumulative percentage or just have more dynamicity by adding a parameter. So we go to the model tab and there we say new parameter and we come with our old numeric range and we call it let's say P we need Pareto param so p param and the number should be from 1 to 100 i want percentage i'll divide it by 100 actually and i say 80 is my y default so what is going to do is it's going to create a new table for me and that table will have a major p param already will have a major p param value which is basically 80 percent defaulted so i can use this p param value major in my Majors which I already created to make it little bit more dynamic. Okay, so we need to get our 80% majors and now let's start with this one. And here, what we can do in the parenthesis, let's put this major divide by 100. And why divide by 100? Because I say 1 to 80. Otherwise, I would have need to generate the decimal places. Or we could we could go and change that major and do that. But let's not play around with that major. Let's do it here. Now what's happened? Something wrong has happened while doing this. So if, okay, there is additional parenthesis which I added. Now no, nothing has changed. Ideally nothing should change. Now let's put this also in the other one and then we will play around. So 80%, 80% brand also. Let's put in this. Now we know 80% is already by default at 80%. Even if the value is not there, it's going to be 80%. Now let's play around a little bit. 30%. 48%, 59%, 70%, 25% manually entering, 50% manually entering, 75% manually entering and we got it. Now further the thing which you should explore is basically you may would like to bucket them. So try bucketing and see if it does work out. So go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.